Good morning, Discoverers. Today, we're going to talk about the mammals at the zoo. Remember, this week we're talking about at the zoo. So each day, we're going to talk about different types of animals. A person who takes care of animals at the zoo is called a what? Very good. It is called, he is called, or she is called a zookeeper. In the picture here, you can see the zookeeper and you see the different animals. The zookeeper's responsibility is to do what? Yes, it is to feed the animals and to bathe the animals and to make sure that the animals are healthy. Our letters of the week are, let's do it together, X and Z. Let's do that again. The letter X and Z. Z. Very good. Yesterday we learned about two different zoos. We talked about the first zoo, and the first American zoo was where? That is correct. It was in Philadelphia. What year was the first zoo developed? Very good. 1874. And then we talked about which zoo? What's the name of the zoo where we live? That's correct, Zoo Atlanta. And the year that that was established was 1889. Let's all say it together, 1889. And the one in Philadelphia, 1874. Very good. We also talked about what we would need when we went to the zoo. We would need a what? That's correct. We would need a map. What would the map do for us at the zoo? That is correct. It would show us where the animals live. So we would have a map to take us from the beginning of the zoo and it would take us all around the zoo and show us where each of the animals live. That would be something great to have when you get to the zoo. Today we're gonna to talk about mammals at the zoo. Let's read it together. Mammals at the zoo. Okay, mammals. When you look at the picture, what do you think a mammal is at the zoo? What do you think? Okay, mammals have hair or fur and they provide and that means to feed their babies milk. So that's how you know mammals from any other animals at the zoo. They would have hair or fur and they feed their babies milk. In the picture, there are different mammals at the zoo. Let's name a few of the animals that live at the zoo that are mammals. Number one, bear. Everybody say bear. Bat. Everyone say bat. Squirrel. Everyone say squirrel. Lion. Dog. Deer. Wolf. Cat. Horse. Raccoon. Hippo. Goat. Seal, beaver, pig, tiger. These are just some of the mammals that you would see at the zoo. Now today I have a book that we're going to read and this is one of our favorite books discoverers that we like to read. Who knows the name of the book? That's right, Rumble in the Jungle. And this book has a lot of animals in it that you may see at the zoo. So everyone pay attention because we're gonna read this book. Rumble in the Jungle by Giles Andre. Illustrated by David Bojowitz. When you hear this, 
this out. It's time to turn the page. There's a rumble in the jungle. There's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippos at the water hole, the leopards in his lair, the chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. Chimpanzee. It's great to be a chimpanzee swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's fleas. Lion. The lion's the king of the jungle who quietly sits on his paws. But everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. Elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round and wander through the jungle, just elephant around. Zebra. I could have been gray like a donkey, or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes which my lady friend likes, since they make me look handsome and cool. Snake. The boa constrictor's a slippery snake who squashes and swallows his prey. He knows that it's not very friendly or kind but they do taste much nicer that way. Giraffe. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheek's getting kissed by a cloud. Hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. Crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. Rhinoceros. The ravenous rhino is big, strong, and tough but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. Gazelle. No one can run half as quickly as me, but galloping gorgeous gazelle. I can leap up so high that my horns touch the sky, and I'm awfully pretty as well. Gorilla. The gorilla is big, black, and hairy, and the thing that he likes 
is to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop his giant great chest. Leopard. If you meet a hungry leopard prowling through the night, make sure you call him sir and be incredibly polite. Tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near, but his eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights, and his growl makes you tremble with fear. Night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle slowly while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den. So let's leave them till tomorrow, when we'll visit them again. Don't forget, tomorrow we're going to do reptiles at the zoo.